What's going on all you gremlins? Chef Gizmo here and welcome back to the Gremlin Kitchen. Now, if you watched the last video, you would know that I had some tef technical difficulties whenever I was kind of upgrading my PC. Videos got lost, documents got lost, edits got lost. So if there's something missing, please leave it down below. You know, so, a little help, I'd be very much appreciated. But I should have everything, we should all be good to go. Now the only sad stuff was I did lose uh, probably about $500 worth of videos. I lost that and I was very, very sad about that. I had a Fusion Strike uh, booster box that I actually found for about half the price of what you would find on eBay. I think for eBay it was around 200, 280. I got it for about 140 ish, 150. I think maybe 160 at the high. I can't remember the exact price. It's been about a month since I did that video. And sadly, y'all guys won't get to see that. Me and Ivy kind of duked it out inside of a Gremlin showdown for it. But Ivy did pull some cards that I did need. We pulled a couple a couple duplicates, so I let her have the duplicates. You know, of course, gotta be the good husband for that. But I did lose a couple of Digimon videos to where I, you know, opened up two booster boxes of the English sets. I opened up the New Awakening, and then I also opened up the uh, Exceed Apocalypse in English. So I wish I could have, you know, brought that to y'all. Sadly, sadly I cannot. But we do have another video today over Digimon. Now, I went on TikTok shop from a company, I believe it's called like Texas Pokemart, something like that. I did pick up this here, Beginning Observer, which is the BT-16. I want to say it's one of the newest ones. And then I did pick up a Japanese uh, Exceed Apocalypse. I thought it was an English one. I had small pee, pee brain. I did not read the, the thing very well. So I ended up buying that. We didn't get a whole lot of hits on that. There's some, there's a couple in there that were pretty, pretty good looking. I haven't gotten the prices on it yet, but I will, I will eventually go into it. But we are going to open up the Beginning Observer. I do like the cover of this one. You got Sylphamon, you got Peljamon, and then you got that thing. I've always, I've always disliked that Digimon, that fusion of Angemon and uh, Armadillomon right or no Anklamon that's who it was I do not like that Digivolution the fusion Digivolution I think it's horrible but Pilgrimon is part of my favorite Digimon line so I am happy to see that I think there is a couple Pilgrimon cards in here so I'm hoping that we get something good out of this so we're going to go ahead and crack this guy open see if we can get something awesome out of it yeah lean back just a little bit all right, of course, we're going to set the the box up top. Look, look at the little baby Vmon right there. Look at him. He's so cute. He's so adorable. How could you not love him? And then you got a little Wormmon right there. So let's see what this promo card is going to be because this is my first time opening this guy. I've watched somebody open these this one before in English and thought some of the cards were actually pretty cool. Uh, focus there you go look at that see armadillamon down there see garudamon togemon and it looks like gatsumon off over here to the right and then you got biomon yeah you got all of those guys so felt like i spent a little bit too much time on that but oh well we are going to go ahead get into this guy hopefully we get some awesome pulls. Hopefully we can get a nice Pelgrim on it from this. It'd be cool if we got some alt arts. Man, like, I swear, in any TCG, the Japanese set is a lot harder to open, like the packaging wise. It's a lot harder to open than how some of the English ones are. But we got that guy. We got somebody doing the Kamehameha. Oh, what was your name? I remember seeing you. I don't remember your name though. We got Aguban. Ooh, that's a cool looking guy. And then we got that Digi Egg right there, that Digi Armor. So that's pretty cool. 
Digimon Web, Digimon.net. Hmm. Digimon Seekers. Yeah, that's the... In the last video, we were talking about you and uh, Marvin Jackson, or Shu. I think that's what her name was, was Shu. And I was like, I have no clue what this, what these people are from. You know, I have no idea who they are, and they mean nothing to me. But I think it's from that, I guess, the manga for it. So, but that's what this card is right here. Yeah, Digimon Seekers right there. You know, I, I'm assuming that's what that what they're from. I have no clue who you are, but you are creepy looking. Oh, what is Geizomon. That's what it was, Geizomon. We got that guy who's dancing. Oh, that is cool looking. You are... Oh, I had you in the Digimon Cyber Sleuth Hacker's memory. I cannot remember what your name is. And then we got whoever this guy is. Yeah. <laughs> so... Sorry if this isn't going to be the greatest of ones. I wish I would have opened these guys up in the English sets first. That way I could kind of see, you know, what the actual names of some of these cards are. And, you know, be able to tell y'all a little bit more about it. But, sadly, I don't. I know who this is. That's Ankleomon. He's a digi Destin Digi-Man. Oh, that's cool looking. We got a Hammerhead Shark. We got that guy. Oh, that's a Terriermon X antibody. That thing is adorable looking. Look at him. He's so fuzzy and fluffy. That is adorable. That is a cute little Terriermon. And we got a Strikemon. A Strikemon. That's pretty cool looking. Gonna set that off to the side. I don't think that that's a high quality one. Just because it is a rare. Now it could be like an alternate art. I'm not 100% sure. I will have to do some digging into that and then get back to y'all and let y'all know about that. So, But we do have a Strike Jermon. That's pretty cool looking. The little cute little Terrier Mon X antibody. That looks like a Doberman Pinscher right there. We got... Oh, what is that? Galgamon? No. Yeah, good Galgamon. Something like that. We got that guy that thing we got some hawkmons but i know it's not hawkmon it's the pre-evolution one and then hey we got a davis and ken let's go we love davis we love ken they give us the best digimon in all the series to me so and that is just my personal opinion i'm going to set them off to the side we love we love seeing them we love stingmon we love wormmon but more important we love vmon and we love Imperial Jamon and X Bmon and all them and all the ones in between. That looks like Geizomon, but I'm not 100% sure what the heck that thing is. We got Armadillomon, the Texan Digimon. We got a Porcupine looking Digimon. We got Sylphimon with. Oh, what is her name? Because there's Kari and. I forgot what her name is. Oh, yes, we got an Imperial German Ace. Oh, that is cool. Look at that. Oh, that's why he's my favorite Digimon. That one is awesome looking. I love that. That's sitting off to the side right there. I want to say that... Is that one just a rare? Huh, I guess that one is just a rare. I know in, like, the other sets, uh, the Aces were more or less... Was it more or less like super rares or something like that or spe not specials but like super rares because actually yeah it says it down here but that's in Japanese and we don't know a Japanese so I'm not even going to attempt to try and figure out what the which each kanji means so we got Anjumon oh what the heck was her name she was one of the villains in Digimon Adventure 02 got Fight. We got a Stingray looking Digimon. Ooh, that's a cool looking one. That's a cool looking one. It looks like, I, I would assume his name is like Pheromon or something like that. And then, ooh, that's pretty cool looking. Huh, that's an X antibody. Hmm. We have no clue who that is. That may be the, I want to say Galmon? No, not Galmon. 
it's almost like godmon or something like that it, it's a weird looking one i want to say it's who i want to say it's who angemon and armadillamon i see something a little different back there we got a hawkmon just walking around we got patamon everybody loves a patamon what is his name Dor Dorugamon, something like that. Oh, we got Aquilamon, and we got that final card. Oh, snap! That is cool. Oh, look at that card. Oh, wow. That is actually a really cool card. I don't recognize that person. It doesn't look like Ken. But that is an awesome looking card. Okay. We're gonna set that off right there. Huh. Gonna have to gonna have to do some digging into that one. Huh. That's the first time I've seen a card like that. It'd be pretty cool if we pulled a couple more. I wanna say there's I'm not entirely sure what the best card in this set is. I wanna say it's a uh Paldramon or a Imperial Jamon. Oh, look at the little baby Vmon just lying down sleeping right there. That's not creepy at all. Ooh, we got a next Vmon. We keep all the Vmon lines off to the side, much like how my brother does with with Dragon Ball Z. He keeps all the Vegeta cards off to the side. That looks like a Garudamon X antibody. And then, I don't know, that may be Ken. I'm not 100% sure though. I don't know. I'm gonna set him off to the side over here though. Just because I, I'm not 100% sure. We'll go back through, we'll kind of cross check it with the English set and see if maybe we can find out who it is from there. Hopefully I can find some information on these. Cause I, I, I like the look of these Tamer cards a little bit more than some of the other sets. Got that guy, we got that guy. That looks like Beetlemon meets Kabuterimon, but smaller. Oh, what the hell? That thing's ugly looking. Ooh, we got Cherubimon. Right? Cherubimon? Yeah, I want to say that's who that is. Cherubimon X Antibody. I can tell that's an X Antibody because it actually has an X in it. So, it makes it easier for me to, to understand it. All right, can we pull some more Vmon evolutionary line cards? Because we would love to see that. Oh, look at, was it Topmon X Antibody? That's cute. I still think that the Terriermon one is even cuter. That's pretty cool. I think that's Cerberus Mon. Hmm. Don't know who that was, but decent looking card. Not bad. I do kind of like that Cherubimon though. I think that's pretty cool looking. Now I'm not too sure how well Dallas is with some of these other TCGs. I know that like at Lord Rush, cause I've been in there before, uh, he does sell Orkana, One Piece, you know, mainly Pokemon stuff, a bunch of Pokemon stuff. If you haven't seen, if you follow Leonhart and you haven't seen it, he actually went to Lord Rush's shop there in Dallas, Texas, and actually stopped by. That is just so adorable. Look at that. So adorable. Oh, and we got a little Salamon. Little Salamon. That one's cute too. But, uh, yeah, Leonhart actually went to Lord Rush's shop in Dallas, Texas, and actually opened up some packs, did some pack battling with them. So it's, it's a cool shop. It's pretty cool. Uh, sadly, I didn't pull anything great whenever I last went to Lord Rush's shop. I was very, very upsetty spaghetti about that. But hopefully this time we can, we can go and make some trades, do some good deals and whatnot, and hopefully try and get something. Yo Lee, that was her name. I want to say that's Yoli and uh, Kari. There goes that one. It, see, it took me a minute. I, I remembered it. It took me a minute, though. But, I mean, I still still remembered it. We're, we're going to clean this up just a little bit. 
put all these guys together set them right there we'll put the V family down here gonna put them just like that gotta have Davis up top okay so we got I'm assuming three pretty good hits at least to me uh, Imperial Jamon I'm happy that that was our first hit of this box so I'm pretty happy about that we got that and that and that and it looks like TK and his name is not Tommy Cody Cody's his name that's Armadillo Mon's tamer so we're gonna set you over there with Yoli and them now it's Yoli not Jolene okay so hold on we're gonna we're gonna just zoom in just a hair okay That's a little better. We got Mr. Hammerhead there. We got a fiery kitty cat. We got a Lopmon. Don't know who you are. Ooh, we got ourselves a Vmon. And, oh. And that guy, that looks like Stingmon, but I know it's not Stingmon. Hmm. I don't know, we're putting Vmon down there with Davis and Ken. I don't know how many of y'all actually watched the the show growing up, the anime growing up. I personally enjoyed all of it up until I think I I stopped watching it whenever Frontiers was got not Frontiers, uh, Tamers was coming out or not Tamers either. Data Squad. See, I'm having I'm having a brain fart. I'm having a brain fart today. But I personally stopped watching it whenever Data Squad came out. I wasn't a huge fan of that one. It wasn't my favorite. But my personal favorite season was... Oh, we got a super rare. Whatever that thing is. It's an ugly Digimon. But whatever that thing is. So we're going to set you there. I personally didn't like uh, Data Squad. My favorite was actually Digimon 02. The Adventures 02. But I actually liked uh, Frontier a lot too. I Even though it was a different style to where they instead of having Digimon partners they actually became the Digimon themselves I actually didn't mind it I thought it was a pretty unique and fun you know different way to do things so I didn't mind that one some people didn't care for it I liked it oh Doru Greymon I think is that one's name and then oh what the heck is that that looks like that weird Haru 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 Mon or Phoenix Mon, but it's an X antibody. So we're gonna set that there. No clue. Never seen it before. Let's see what this next pack has to offer. Oh, we got a little armadillo mon. Our little Texas boy. We got an XV Mon. You may hear Lilith Mon off in the background crying. She's trying to get into my wife's office while she's in there playing games. We got that guy. That guy. I have no clue. You look like Lobomon's final evolution. Or it's the Garurumon final line. We got this guy, whoever that guy is. I forget what that one is. I want to say it was shown in the Digimon Tri movies. One of them. I'm not 100% sure which one. But it looks like it's from one of those guys. Because I... Yeah, because it's whenever they became like Omnimon or something like that in one of the Tri movies. They turn into like a new evolution. We got a Quilamon. We got that guy... We got a doggy. We got a Mr. Beetle. I don't know what your name is, but we got those guys. Hey, we got Wormmon. All right, Wormmon, sorry, bud. You are going to go off to that pile because you're not part of the V family. Now, whenever you fuse with Peljabon, you will join this nice, fun area right here with Davis and Ken. You will join them, but as of right now, you will not. Sorry.
We got that guy. We got a Galgamon. We got that guy. We got Hammerhead. Hey, we got a Stingmon. So here. And then we got whoever that is. That almost looks like Marsmon, but it it might be. It might be Marsmon. Hmm. But he is a secret rare, so we're gonna set him off to the side over here. We'll we'll actually move Stingmon, so. I hear you, Lilith. I hear you. So we're gonna put Davis there. We'll put Ken there. Put Wormmon over here and then Stingmon right there. One big happy family. We got a couple more packs here. We're gonna get back into this, get the show rolling, get the ball moving, all that fun stuff. Hopefully we can get some more goodies. We got this guy who I still do not know. We got Angemon. We got a sheep with a rocket on its back. We got what looks like Hawk, like a Hawkmon playoff. Okay, we got a Magna Angemon, just rare. And we got those two who are actually Digimon. For those of you, I know, spoiler for a show that's been out for approximately 20 something years. <laughs> so sorry if that spoiled anything for y'all. Wow, mind blown. But we got, I think, three packs left, maybe two. We got that. We got a Stingray Mon. We got a little Hawkmon walking down the path. What the heck? Huh. Never seen that guy before. And that looks like what uh, Gomamon pre-Digivolves from. Whatever the heck that thing's name is, because I've never seen it before. Or maybe it's what this little secret rare thing is, or super rare, whatever the heck it's called. Whatever level. It might be one of its pre-evolutions or something. We got a frozen porcupine. We got an electric doggy. A guru mon. That thing. Hey, we got Ken and Davis, old school with a pale Dramon. All right, guys, sorry about that. Technical difficulties again. My phone died, which I'm using to capture the cards. But we got the Davis and Ken with pale Dramon right behind. And I want to say its name is Sakuyamon. Pretty sure. But it is a super rare. So we're going to set that there. We're going to set Davis and Ken right there with the other Davis and Ken. Let's get these final two packs opened up. Maybe pull something good. Who knows? I hope so. Because while the phone was charging, I was trying to see if I could find some prices. And I found English prices. And some of these cards are not not that good. We got a Keelimon. And then we got a shoe. We got a shoe. Nothing wants. Nobody wants a shoe. Unless it's like a nice, a nice shoe. Okay, can we pull something right off the bat for this final pack? Can we get some last pack magic? I really hope so. Please, please. We need some. We need some more. Can I at least get another V-Mon evolution? We got a lot Mon X antibody. I want to say that's Valkyrie Mon, but I'm not 100% sure. Ooh, we got a Slash Angemon. That's pretty cool looking. Too bad it's an uncommon. And, huh. Huh. I have no idea who that is. That looks like Kawagamon Ace, but it's like a the final evolution of it. So, but we got an Ace card for the end of it. So we did get one more final little hit. So, <sighs> sadly, not the best that we've done. We have definitely done better. But that is going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell button. That way you are notified of any video that is posted. Hopefully, we'll have some more product in here soon. That way we can make some more, get some more stuff out there. I do have a box of the new Pokemon Shrouded Fable, the Japanese set that's coming that, that came out. I do have that on its way, and I do have a box of New Awakening from Digimon 
coming my way. So hopefully those get here sometime soon. That way I can film another video and we can get some more stuff going. But until then, peace.